Welcome to Sports Fans, PickDogs.com on this Friday, May 5th. I'm your host, Mike Davis. Stick around and have some free selections coming up for you in just a moment on the first five innings in Major League Baseball on this Cinco de Mayo. If you like what you see, please give the video a big thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Leave me some comments, man. I enjoy when you guys comment. Let me know what you think about the first five innings today. Do you have anything that stands out? And keep in mind, I do release premium plays on the first five innings from time to time. And I will certainly let you know when I have a big premium play going on the first five innings over at PickDogs.com. Not a great last two days for me. 0-2 on Wednesday, 0-2 on Thursday in Major League Baseball. Scaling it back today, just one pay play. Major League Baseball personal favorite goes tonight at PickDogs.com. The key to this is it's a long season. This is a marathon, not a sprint. So even though I sprinted out of the gates extremely hot, you know, back to starting to re regress a little bit at 15 and 11. 15 and 11, Major League Baseball season is still 58%. I like that, but at the same time, I'm looking to push that up above 60%. Having said that, when I'm not seeing the board well, I only do one play. I will narrow it down until I feel like I'm seeing it well again. And uh, I do that for myself personally, and I also do that for the clients because I believe that I owe that. To them so hope that makes sense all my premium plays are found at pickdogs.com let's get to your first five selections i really like these three plays i got three of them for you today red sox phillies over four minus 120 red sox are riding high they just swept the blue jays in a four game series in fact in their last six games they've scored a whopping 47 runs overall absolutely destroying the baseball speaking of destroying the baseball they are destroying in right-handed pitching right now. They're first in average at 280, third in OPS at 826, third overall against all pitching in runs per nine at 6.01 runs per nine innings. Willer's on the mound for the Phillies, and I believe he's their ace. Having said that, he's only faced one team this year that is really good against right-handed pitching. Who was that? It was the Texas Rangers. How did he do in that game? That was his first start of the season, but they hammered him for seven hits and four earned runs in four and a third innings. Who's he faced the rest of the season? The Rockies, ranked bottom half against righties. The Reds, White Sox, Marlins, and Astros are all ranked in the bottom third against righties. So this is only the second team he's faced that can really hit right-handed pitching. I look for the Red Sox to get to Wheeler tonight. Chris Sell on the bump for the Red Sox. Been really bad in his three road starts so far this season. Of course, Boston is at Philly tonight. He has pitched 14 innings, 20 hits, and 13 un, uh, earned runs in those three away starts. Uh, Phillies are middle of the pack against lefties, but they are rested. They're happy to be home. They got swept in L.A. They've lost four in a row. They didn't play yesterday. I look for them to have some um, um, good at bats, some focused at bats is the word I'm looking for against Sale, and again, Sale has not been good on the road. I look for them to make him work. I look for them to score some runs against him. I look for this to go over the total of four. You are paying a little bit of a price at minus 120. Red Sox, Phillies, over four, first five. Orioles versus Braves, over four and a half. Let me tell you something. I know Max Fried is on the mound, but the Orioles smack around lefties. They do. They hit lefties well. 816 OPS, 272 average. And again, Freed has been really good, but uh, the Orioles are very good against lefties, and I look for them to score a run or two, maybe three, you never know, against Max Freed. Having said that, the Braves' bats are absolutely on fire. 26 runs in their three-game series uh, in Miami. They get to face Dean Kramer. They get to face Dean Kramer, right? Kramer has allowed four more runs in five out of his six starts this season, and in those five starts, only once did he – Pitched more than five innings, and that was five and two-thirds innings. So, in other words, he's allowing all of his runs early in the game. The Braves will hit Kramer early and often. Uh, the Orioles could add a run or two, maybe three against Freed as well. So, I like over four and a half Braves versus Orioles. And your last play, Giants versus Brewers under four. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're thinking, Mike, are you – absolutely nuts to play it under four first five with Sean Mania on the mound no I'm not nuts listen to this the Brewers are horrible folks I can't emphasize it enough with my southern accent how bad they are I wish I could get Ron or one of those guys with the northern accents to say horrible the Brewers are horrible against lefties last in the league no PS at 605 batting just 208 
They have a grand total of nine doubles and eight home runs and 265 at-bats against lefties this season. Uh, they faced Freeland in Colorado. You guys know, remember that a couple nights ago. He does not throw hard at all. He pitched three-hit shutout ball in the thin air of Colorado, Coors Field, in five innings. Shutout ball, three hits. Brewers can't hit lefties, period. I know Manai's not a good pitcher. I really do. He's been horrible this se- this season. But having said that, he said the Brewers can't hit lefties. They, they, they can't do it. So this is a bad versus bad matchup. I'll take the pitcher at home. Corbin Burns' rough start to the season has been really good in his last four starts. In those four starts, 24 and a third inning, 16 hits, just five earned runs, 21 Ks, and only one homer. Now, Burns, who is – the Brewers' ace, obviously, faced the Giants three times last season. How'd he do? 22 innings, just nine hits, two earned runs. Listen to this, folks. 35 strikeouts in 22 innings of work last year, zero home runs against the Giants. I'll take the under tonight in the first five Giants versus Brewers under 4.0. Folks, that's what I have for you for the first five. Make sure you take advantage of my premium picks. Get on a three-day package. Join me up with another great handicapper over at PickDogs.com. Most importantly, leave me a big thumbs up. Leave me some comments. Tell me what you like today. That's what I have for you. Everybody have a great and profitable Cinco de Mayo.